In the following, we will talk about doors. For using them in a two emotion, going to objects, then doors. Which is have two types, rotating door and sliding doors. Insert in a sliding doors. This type of door are generally two type, simple and double. We choose one of them by clicking and dragging a stage. One simple and one double here. Okay, as you can see by selecting each door, a circle will appear around it. When we enter this area, the door opens for us. This area is called a trigger area. We can go in settings first. I will say you behavior setting. We can specify its type. Trigger mode means the way that we are in now. When we enter this area, it opens and when we leave this area, it closes the door again. The open mode is means that means that the door is always open and closed means the door are always closed. When uh, we go into the trigger, click on the more to reach more setting. Trigger radius to change the radius of the circle. And trigger type to specify its type. It's multi, means camera or uh, all passes. Camera means when we are in a, this flying mode and the camera moves toward the door, it opens or closes to us. Character pass mode is for when we draw it uh, and the character go through the door. The character approach the door, it opens and pass the door, close. To test, we go into the context and passes and character pass. And we draw a pass that through the door. We have already explained how to this to do this and sitting in the previous lessons. Okay, as we draw, as you can see, the door opens and closes. In, uh, again, in each character pass. Okay, delete this pass. Click on the door to back to sitting in a behavior we choose the close to uh, explain their style in a style mode you can select and change other type of doors here without clicking and dragging and another time. the more you can reach other sitting in a handle style you can select different type of door handles as you can see. And you can enable or disable door hinges. Here are the door hinges. You can enable or disable. Okay. In a casing style, select the type of door frame. As you can see. Okay, in a more, you can change the width and the thickness of this casing style. Okay, here we can go in back to settings. On the side, you can specify which side of the door will be open in which side. Uh, right hand or left hand. This is the same for double doors. Going to the double doors, this is change to side to open. Test three mode. Open left door or right door or both. Okay, back to simple door and the side. 
Okay, in a more sitting section, you can, in a position, you can specify whether it's open inward or outward. Here. And in the angle, you can control amount of the door opening in degrees. Okay, going back to sitting. In a width and height, you can also change the overall dimension of doors. As you can see. Okay, going to the library, back to doors. Other style of door are uh, in sliding doors. For example, we insert this sliding door, simple and double. As you can see, when we approach the door, it will open. All of settings are the same, but a framing option is enabled for some doors that have some frame design on them. For example, this door. In a setting, you can control the distance of the frame to, uh, from the margins. As you can see, you can change the frame design of the door. In a okay, back to sitting in a style in a sliding door only in a side to open sitting or side sitting instance of angle. It is a percentage to use for amount of opening door, as you can see. Okay, okay, this is all about doors. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.